Hi everyone, this is Jupiter Jim from jupiterjim.com and jupiterjimsmarketingteam.com and I'm going to show you how to add the Themity reactive skin for a website that's using Thesis 2.1. I'm going to show you how to install the skin and then configure it so it looks like the demo site at themity.com. Okay, so we're going to go up here. We're at, this is themity.com. You're going to click on reactive down here once you're in the members area. You're going to download, let's just do that real quick, real simple. We're going to add this to, I've created a folder called reactive demo. So you're just going to add it there. And it's, as you can see, it's a, T2 for Thesis 2, it's a zip file. We just download that real simple. Next, we're going to go to documentation for Reactive in Thesis. So I'm going to right click there, just open a new tab, and here we are. The You have all the instructions. The important thing for us is this section right here that says read this. That's really important. So I'm going to click there, and I'm just going to show you how the rest of this works visually. So let's just click read this and now what you want to do is download this is two point whatever skins. So what we're downloading right here is the dummy text and the text for the widgets and stuff like that in the home page and the pages in the post. So let's just go to reactive and once again you can see it's for thesis 2.0 not 1.85. So it is reactive. Let's download it once again, I'm going to put it in this folder that I just happen to call Reactive Demo. Let's save that. Okay, now we're going to go back into that folder. Double click that. The Reactive Thesis export is a zip, but you have to unzip that. So we're going to right click. Now I use 7-zip, you can use WinZip, you just use whatever you want and just unzip that baby. I'm going to unzip it right here, extract the files right here. And inside this folder, Reactive, you'll see a couple of files and we're going to import those later. I'll show you how to import them. One is an XML file and one is this JSON file. So let's go back up to Reactive Demo and we're going to import this Reactive Thesis2.zip. Okay minimize this we're going back over here here's the site uh, the demo site and here's the let's click here this is the dashboard for that demo site there's thesis so we're gonna go to thesis manage skins and as I mentioned we're already rocking the thesis classic skin that's built in there are no installed skins so we're gonna in upload that reactive skin reactive demo and there's the reactive skin right there reactive t2 we're going to leave that zipped up obviously and we're going to add that skin skin successfully installed then just click ok um, now that it's installed we're not going to preview it we're just going to activate it now once you do that, this is critical, up here you're going to see some important stuff. So you want to begin installing this plugin. This is really critical, especially if you want to import the dummy content that I talked about earlier, which is essentially the point of the whole video. Okay, so let's click begin installing plugin. Just go to plugin. I found you have better luck if you just click that. Bulk actions. We need to install it before we activate. Click apply then we want to return to required plugins installer okay once again just click this top one bulk actions now we're gonna activate it and we're basically done no plugins to install or activate so we're done with that it, the plugin it says was successfully activated so we're done with that let's go to I guess let's just go back to the dashboard the home all right so now we're going to click on this tab and let's hit refresh and see what the site looks like with the reactive skin on top of the thesis framework hitting that refresh button waiting for the change there it is not quite what the doctor ordered uh, but you can see we've got some stuff going on there you know what I'm gonna do I'm gonna at this point I'm gonna delete the posts that are already in there there's posts 
because we don't need them, they're not going to help. So let's just trash that. And we're going to go to pages and do the same thing because it's just going to kind of throw things off a little. So let's go to all pages, sample page, same thing. Let's trash that. We don't need that. Okay, by the way, I'm starting with a fresh install. If you're installing the thesis and then the reactive theme and you want to import this dummy text into an existing site that already, you know, has um, legitimate posts and pages, there are some instructions in the reactive theme instructions that tell you how to reset your blog to the beginning so there are no posts and pages. Uh, but since I was starting with essentially a, a new blog, I, I just deleted that one page and that one post. Okay, next thing we, we want to do right now is import that dummy data. Um, so we're going to go down to Tools Import. Just go to WordPress. And what you're essentially doing is installing a plugin, then you're going to install or upload or import the data. So click on WordPress. This was updated two weeks ago. It's compatible with 3.81. Sometimes this definitely ends up being out of date, but don't panic. It always seems to work, whether it's updated for the latest version of WordPress or not. So don't panic. Just click Install Now. Um, we're going to activate and run the importer right there. And now we're going to choose the file. Okay, it says something about, well, I'll just show it. We're, we're, this is the reactive demo, the folder I talked about. This is the folder when we unzipped this, the export zip file, it created this folder with these two files in it. We're going to click on this one right here. We're going to upload file and import. The create a new user with login name. Um, we'll just assign this to the existing user, which is me. I'm going to click download and import file attachments. Click submit, of course. And this is the posts and the pages. That's what we're importing. All done. Have fun. I'm just going to click on that. You can do a little check to see how far along we're getting. Okay, so these are the blog posts. Still not exactly quite what the doctor ordered, and there are no widgets over here. So we're going to go back to the dashboard, and we're going to import the widgets. Let's go to Themity Replicate, TR. So that's under Appearance, Themity Replicate. Uh, we're going to choose the file. TR, Themity Replicate, click Open. Let's restore. It says re restored successfully. You can see that. Uh, once again, let's go back here, hit refresh, and see the widgets on the right hand side. So now things are starting to look really good. There's something I want to check. If you click on this home page, yeah, that one seems to be working well. Um, I think we're all done. I just want to check and make sure of a couple of things here. Pages, there's the home page. So that was imported. That works great. It should be a blank page, which it is. And now we're also going to go down to settings, reading. And you can see this has been done automatically, that the front page is set to the home page and the post page is set to blog. So we are done. Um, let me just click around a little bit. You can see that it's everything's working like a charm. There's our work portfolio page. There's the blog page. Okay, and we're done. That's all there is to it. Take care and hope you have a great day.